Good evening, beautiful love bugs. I hope you guys are okay. I'm divinely destined. Yes, I have a general message, late night message, okay? It's not going to be too long. Just want to get the current energy. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Take the message how it resonates. Mm hmm. Yeah, you may be a July Leo here, Cancer man, Cancer woman. Energy is here. Yeah, somebody's thinking about apologizing. Okay. Anyway. I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear it. But if you want to hear it, hey, the energy is there. Yeah. This could be your ex. That was a battle here. That's why I said I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear it. Happy birthday, Aquarians. Celebrating your birthdays today. Yeah, you may be an entertainer, an artist. You write music. You read poetry. Okay. Very artistic individual. Very unique, special person. Watching this message. Period. Yeah, you got an ex or you got somebody here that has some regrets. Okay, they, they made their bed, honey. They got to lay in it. Period. You've gone on. Period. I see the Ace of Pentacles. There is somebody better here. That's what the High Priestess is saying. Yep, you got somebody better here. This ex of yours knows about this. Uh, they're in regret and remorse because they're not with you. Or something like that, okay? Who knows why they're in regret or remorse. But that energy is there. There's somebody better here. Yeah, there's a better partnership uh, that you're slated to be in at some point here. Yeah, you're, you're chosen. I see 144. You're chosen. There's a chosen person for you. Period. The number four lets me know that there's a specific person that has already been chosen by our Heavenly, Heavenly Father for you. This person is very spiritual. They could be going through an awakening, okay? Or you have helped awaken this person here. Yes, you, you're helping them heal. They're helping you heal, okay? Period. You may be, you may be going through some uh, ascension-like symptoms. Go research that, honey. Period. I see the Three of Wands being here. This person has never forgotten you. I feel like you know this special person. That has been selected by our Heavenly Father for you. Okay, you've seen this person before, okay? And if you haven't, you guys share a past life, okay? They're no stranger to you, okay? You, you may have been married to them in a previous lifetime or at some point in your evolution. Okay, beautiful love bugs? Yes. Be patient. The ancestors are here. Mm. The ancestors want you to know. They see the pain. The stress, the anger, the sadness that your person has experienced, is is experience, experiencing, and when they will experience, okay? The ancestors see what your person is going through, okay? Yeah. Past, present, future. The ancestors see it all here, period. This person is ready. Uh, they, they want an opportunity with you. Yes, cancer season, uh... Gemini season could be significant in terms of a love connection uh, coming together here. I'm hearing that song reunited and it feels so good. No one understands you like this person. No one understands them like you. No one gets you like they get you. Okay. Wow. This could be like an instant recon uh, recognition type of connection. So this could be a twin flame here. There was like an instant recognition when you saw them, when you met them. Uh, you can't forget that moment. And you will never forget that moment. You won't forget the moment meeting your twin flame. It's like a literal merging, merging that happens when you meet them. Okay? Yeah. This person may have been going through something here. They may have been going through something. Between one to five years here. One to three years. You may not know about this. Okay? You may have went through something. They may not know about it. Okay? Period. You may also be surprised to know that they've been watching you, keeping an eye on you. Possibly one to five years here, one to five months. Talking to their ancestors about you or keeping you in their heart. Possibly praying for you. Asking God to keep you safe here. You may not know this. It looks like this person know you. Or they have knowledge of you and they've never forgotten about you. His name may be Benjamin. He may be a Sagittarius. Okay, 
Yeah, I see the Knight of Swords. He wants to be your hero. Okay, I'm hearing that song by Enrique Iglesias. I can be your hero, baby. Okay, he may be Spanish. Okay. Yeah, very beautiful divine masculine here. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Super strong, too. There's something about his spiritual abilities, okay? It's like when you think of him, he's there. Okay, when you think of her, she's there. Yeah, <laughs> speed of light type of energy. The speed of light type of energy here. They may be more connected to you than you realize, okay? They may have some pretty powerful spiritual abilities and you're not aware. Your divine counterpart could be like a mega powerful uh, galactic being and you're like totally unaware of to that, okay? <laughs> Yeah. Wow. They don't like this sneaky stuff. It, it it feels like they know something about you here. The Seven of Swords next to the Ace of Cups. They've seen you cry. Yep. The Queen of Cups. There were some injustices done to you. Looks like this person is aware of this. Okay. Mm. They may know about somebody's plot to come back in and to, to further sabotage you too. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I see. Somebody you walked away from, somebody that you're no longer even considering as an option, could be behind the scenes, still making a ruckus, trying to cause you to have some sort of issue or problem here. It looks like your twin flame is fully aware of this or they have some knowledge about this. Okay, it's possible here. Yes. This person, your twin flame, um, you may be meeting up with them in the spirit realm. You may not remember it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. I see the death energy, the page of pentacles, the five of wands. Wow. Mm. This could be the father of your children here. That's been behind the scenes being problematic. Okay. With the emperor being here, I'm right on the money. It doesn't necessarily have to be your baby daddy. It could be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. I see the page of wands being here. Yeah. The nine of wands. That's ten. You've released this ex. You release that individual, you know, emotionally. Okay. You've released the past. You, you are divine feminine, divine masculine. They're in their new life energy, baby. They're thriving. They're they're healing. Okay, you could like you could like NASCAR. Okay, divine feminine, divine masculine. You're not stressing up stressing out about no damn ex today that wants you back or who's behind the scenes still being problematic towards you. You could care less. You know God is protecting you. Okay, period. There's a divine masculine here that's been single for a while here, possibly keeping up with you, unbeknownst to you. They may uh, be uh, making some plans to come in in the physical realm. Things are being handled uh, pretty discreetly behind the scenes at this time. You may actually be getting ready to meet your divine masculine too for the first time. Congratulations. You're not going to forget meeting him. You're not going to forget meeting her. It's earth shattering, okay? Yes. <laughs> you could be a December 14th Capricorn. Uh, excuse me, December the 14th Sagittarius. You're never going to forget meeting your divine masculine. You're just not going to forget him. Okay? This could also be a soulmate here that you are being, um, getting ready. He's a galactic being uh, that you are going to be reunited with. Okay? The age 49 years old could be significant here. I see the will of fortune being here. He's in your birth chart. She's in your birth chart. Make no mistake about it. Yeah, they got a past. Yes, they got an ex-wife here, ex-husband, uh, just like you. Yes, it looks like they were dealing with somebody very malicious uh, who had some ill will and intent towards them as well. Somebody from their past, too. This is a cancer man. This is a cancer woman. They have these placements in their chart. Yes, mm-hmm. It looks like somebody was doing magic on them or somebody was highly deceptive, uh, mean-spirited, and had ill intentions towards your divine counterpart here. Yes, mm-hmm. At some point, he was uh, going through something mentally. Okay, just think about it. You marry somebody. Okay, you live with someone. You invest a lot of time into that connection. 
Yeah, it's going to be devastating to have to heal from it, okay? Your divine masculine's name could be Jeff. Jeff, okay? Thomas, Anthony. The justice energy lets me know that he's divorced. The four of wands is a divorced man here. Divorced woman, period. The ace of wands is a male, okay? Your divine masculine could be male. Your divine masculine could be female, period. He got an ex that was trying to block him. You know the energy from moving forward here, okay? Period. You see the full energy? He's gone on. He's moved on. He's moving forward. Congratulations, Divine Masculine. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Keep going. Your name may be Shelby here. The Ten of Wands. Baby Mama want him to be stressed out. Ex-wife certainly has been doing things that uh, will be deemed unethical in the background in order to cause injustice, imbalance, unrest. Okay? Mm-hmm. Pisces energy could, Pisces season could be significant here. Yes, your divine masculine is a mature, grounded, stable businessman here who's protected by Archangel Michael. Yeah, there's a bitter X in the energies. What else is new here? He's an earth angel here, period. They stopped sleeping together or something like that is here. Of course, if they're not together, right? He may, he may be celibate at this time. Yeah, you may be a November Sagittarius. Your divine counterpart could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, Aquarius. They have these placements in their chart. He's becoming more spiritually enlightened or, you know, you know, boy, I got to watch my body because I'm not just anybody. Okay, this man is not just laying down with anybody. Yeah, he could be in his 40s, 38 years old, 27 years old. Okay, he's in his six of wands energy. Well loved and celebrated, period. Very abundant. And that's just what it is. Let's go ahead and wrap this particular message up. Mm -hmm. There are some exes today that are heavily restricted with the planet Saturn being here. Yes, they are paying karma for what they've done, collective. We all will pay karma, good or bad, okay? We get good karma, we get bad karma. You, you, you got some bad karma you got to uh, get dealt? Well, that's what you're going to get. Sagittarius saturates this particular message. Uh, December the 19th, Sagittarius energy. Your divine masculine could ride a bike. He could just like to ride a bike uh, in his spare time. Yeah, he could be a doctor. The surgery energy lets me know that he's in good health with the good karma energy being here. Yes, he's a king of wands. Okay, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Natural born leader. Very authoritative. He got spiritual gifts, spiritual power. The number seven lets me know that. He could do a lot of studying, uh, exercising, late night, okay? Yes, mm, very protected individual. He's protected here. He's healing, period. Wow, he's healing. He could be 42 years old here. Very good in bed here. He may be researching twin flames and soulmates and birth charts and <laughs> soul missions and uh, North Node journey. Spiritual questions, okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you guys have a spirit baby that's out there in the ethers waiting to be brought in. He could be tall and slim here. Your divine masculine could be a Scorpio. Wow. The death and Mars, that's Scorpio energy. The death energy next to the Mars energy indicating that somebody presented a hard battle in the spiritual realm against this masculine here. It's been verified by God. It's been verified uh, by the archangels and the ancestors. Also, Archangel Metatron, he keeps the books. Every time they attack the chosen ones, Every spell they do, all that is uh, verified and is, is written down. You and this divine counterpart are set to reconcile here, period. Even if even when you just meet them for the first time, that's that you can still consider that reconciliation because you have a past life with them. Yes. Mm. <laughs> He's a Gemini man. Wow. Thank God I found you in secure, secure connection. This connection is secure by our Heavenly Father. Yeah, there's some there's some haters here that don't want to see you two together. What else is new here? Okay, they got two involved in trying to destroy you, and they destroyed themselves. You may live in Georgia here. You may have some fam family members that live out of state. You could be in a different state than your family. You could be leasing a vehicle at this time, or you you will be. Okay, you could be on social media, world famous. Yeah, please be very careful and discreet about your personal business. Period. Leo energy. We are in the year number eight. The eight represents Leo. The eight represents karma, good and bad. 
The eight represents the male lion. Okay, think how ferocious he is. Okay, with the bad health energy, divine masculine could have an ex that's getting some bad karma. Could be suffering. Their health, her health, could be suffering here. Could be Carlos having car trouble as well. Mm -hmm. She played too many games here. She's got a tower here. I'm telling you, she didn't play it smart here. She was reckless. She came up against uh, somebody that's really, really high ranked. Because she was mad. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's facts here. Yeah. She may have tried to slander his name. Okay, Divine Feminine saying all kind of shit. Yeah, your Divine Masculine could be 59 years old here. She may have went in the spirit and did some things on him. Period. There was a disconnord. Disconnord. <laughs> there was a discord or a disconnect in terms of their intimate life, you know. And it's just not sex, okay? Just that closeness and, you know, that trust and, and that respect. It, it, it left that connection at some point, okay? Or it may not have never been there. It may have been a connection um, full of secrets and instability. Rocky. A lot of secrets here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This person, your, your person is divorced here. Possibly to a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. I see 40... 44. He's 44 years old. He's a chosen one who's very abundant. He was chosen by God to be abundant. Period. He's an entertainer. Okay, he's very entertaining. He could be funny. He could like comedy, stand-up comedy, comedy shows, comedy movies. Okay, he may like uh, to make people laugh. Okay, he may like to help people get through traumatic experiences or sadness. Okay, he helped cheer people up. Divine Feminine. Yes. Period. He's a Pisces man. He has Pisces in his chart. He's a Scorpio man, Virgo man. Okay, he has these placements in his chart. Wow. 37, 36. So we got 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 broken down as 1. Okay? 6, 7, 8, 9. So you got 10 here. He's closed out a cycle here. Yep, he was married and he's divorced. The energies just don't lie. It's something about uh, your family members that live in another state they could be halfway across the world today okay god is watching out for them they could be watching you online okay they could be praying for you uh they could also have been argumentative or they could you could have some family members that's been behind the scenes uh you know being petty to divine feminine okay yes mm -hmm. <laughs> your divine masculine could be a maintenance man okay yes he could be a worldwide uh, entertainer, too. Period. Mm. Wow, I see 1956. He could have an ex here uh, that tried to make him look bad, slander his name, uh, bring some stuff out to the public here, and it backfired horribly, or it's going to backfire horribly. Okay? I see 10, 10, 10. That's our angel number for tonight. Period. Our Heavenly Father, he's here. He sees the stress. He sees the trouble. He sees our adversities, conflicts. He sees the pain and the trauma. He sees the unhealed wounds and trauma that we have within ourselves. He also sees the trauma and the pain that we deal with because other people uh, maliciously target us. Okay? I see 56. Somebody from his past took him through some changes here. It's just facts. With the Venus energy being here, it's an ex-wife. The energies don't lie. Period. I see 1938. Okay, the, the great the great grandparents are in the energies. Okay. Let's not forget our ancestors. We are in the new moon of new moon of Aquarius energy here. Uh, please say thank you, Father God, for your ancestors. Period. To neglect one's ancestors, uh, you're just gonna have ill fortune and bad luck in life. It's just facts. You may be studying up on different Orishas tonight. Please be respectful. Uh, when you're when you're when you're when you're, when you're researching these Orishas and when you're when you're trying to connect with them, okay? Yes, you may love Mother Oshun. She's the goddess of fertility, beauty. Mother Oshun don't play that though, okay? Yes, I see seven one. You got to keep your promise to her, okay? Just don't even play with these Orishas if you don't know what you're doing. Be respectful, beautiful love bugs. Yeah, you could be a Leo here, born in 1958 here. Yeah, I'm, pick, I'm picking up on the grandfathers, the grandmothers, the great-grandparents. They're in the energies today. 
Please pay, pay homage and respect to your ancestors. There's a 70-year-old grandparent here. The energies don't lie, period. You could be getting messages about them, or you need to call them and check on them, period. With the final judgment and a Capricorn, yeah, you need to, um, they could be in a different country, different state. Call and check on your relatives, okay? You may be hearing more about your relatives, distant relatives this year, okay? You like butter cookies? Yes, the seventh house... Libra rules the seventh house. The house of partnerships and romance is ruled by the zodiac sign of Libra. Okay, you you have some family members here that you should definitely um, expect to hear from or hear some information about with the birds energy being here. Your grandparents are married, perhaps. Auntie, uncle married, perhaps. Look at the gray hair energy. There's an older person here that's in their 70s here. Um, that could be sick today and not doing well. Okay, period. You don't want to miss out on an opportunity to speak to them, make something right to, with them, okay? Yes, they think you're amazing. They could be missing you. This could be a relative, okay? Yes, this could be a grandmother, auntie, a sister, a cousin, a distant family member here. The ancestors want you to remember your loved ones, period. This could be a grandpapa here that you're going to be getting some details about here this year, okay? Period. You could be a cancer man, cancer woman, Libra woman, Libra man. You have these placements in your chart here. Yes. Mm. Oh, I love the energies collective. I'm not going to make this too long. Let's just go ahead and wrap it up, okay? Yes. Mm. I love the messages. Period. Let's just go ahead and wrap it up. Let's take a few more <laughs> beautiful energies. The year 2009 could have been significant for you. 2009 represents the zodiac sign of Aquarius, February the 9th. Yes, 1995 could have been significant for you, period. There's the number 10, 10, 10, 10. Three times we've seen this number tonight. Cycles are closing, cycles have closed. Doors have closed, doors are opening, period, period. There's a lot of stuff that uh, we've been through. That's why 1995 is here. But you see the closed energy? God says, heal, baby. Heal. Embrace healing. That's what it's saying. That's what the message is saying. That's what it's saying. I see 1552. 1552 is saying we need healing here. Physical healing, psychological healing, spiritual healing. Okay, emotional healing. Period. You may be a law enforcement officer. Okay. Yeah, you may be thinking about becoming one. Okay. Period. That could be a hidden helper here. Cops are in the energies. And God could have a cop at your freaking service and at a moment's notice, okay? Don't doubt God's protection over your life because he protects us. There's a 70-year-old here, <laughs> period. I see it twice, okay? There's older, older energies here, okay? Don't neglect your ancestors. Don't neglect your older relatives, okay? You may have been born in the 70s here. You could have an older relative uh, that is sick today or not feeling so well today. Okay, they're fighting here. Okay, you need to call them. You may hear from them. Don't be surprised. Okay, make peace. Okay, pray for them. Yeah, any any kind of bad blood, squash it. It's not worth it. Especially if this is like a mother, okay, or a father. You definitely want to make sure that uh, you try to make peace. Okay. You don't, you can't get no mother back. You don't get no father back. That's one connection. That's, you, that's life altering. Okay. You think it's easy to say, well, I don't never want to speak to my mother again. I don't never want to speak to my father again until you actually can't. It's a whole different ball, ball game. Okay. Yes. I feel like God has given us through these different messages. Okay, pay attention. He's given us opportunities to make things right with our loved ones, distant relatives. Okay, period. Especially older people. I see 4602. You could live in Kansas, Arkansas, San Diego, San Francisco, California here. You've been chosen by our Heavenly Father here. There's a specific person that's been chosen by our Heavenly Father for you. Yes, you had a false flame here that didn't want to see you move forward peacefully. They may have one in the spirit and did things to block you from moving forward here. Yes, could be a Leo here. Yes, they could be married in a relationship. And, um, yeah, that's weird to try to block somebody that's single, huh? 
very weird and very strange. They were trying mercilessly to keep you single, stuck, bound, in, in some sort of contract that you didn't agree to here. Okay? They are being dealt with by our Heavenly Father. Perhaps they are losing an older relative here. Possibly nine days here. Something like that is here. Yes, our Heavenly Father sees the secret conversations that we can't see or hear. He knows about it. That's why God got him kicked out of, kicked out of our energy. Yeah, you're going to be drinking. I'm picking up on the rapper K-Camp. You're going to be drinking nice champagne and wine, or you already do. Okay, your ideal love choice is a powerful man, okay? Your divine masculine could drive a white car, okay? Period. <laughs> yeah, divine feminine, you need some money. Yeah, you could be getting $2,000 here soon, okay? Period. You could you could love to do your hair and makeup here. You could also be all natural. I see four, five, one, five. And Scorpio. I see the death energy, Mars and Scorpio. So there was a Scorpio here or somebody that um, had Scorpio in their chart that was per evil. And you rebuked them. And you told God that I don't want nothing to do with them. And I don't want them in my energy. And I don't want them in my life. And I don't want them to hurt me. And I don't want them to hurt my family. And you rebuked them in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. And you protected yourself from them. Okay? Mm-hmm. Period. Yes, everything's going to be okay. You're phenomenally wealthy and abundant here. The pig energy lets me know that. Yes, you could have um, the gift of prophecy. The gift of dreams. Period. You may be from like an island. St. Troy. Okay, Barbados. Yeah, you may be a Virgo here. Wow, I see 1,500. Mm, that's the number six. You have past life knowledge uh, that you brought over here with you. Yes, look at the number 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. Four times we've seen the number 10 here. There is absolutely something that is absolutely finished. Your favorite color could be red or yellow, blue, green, black. Something has absolutely positively been finalized and uh, closed out here. Period. Your spiritual team is with you. Archangel Michael is with you. He's with you. He's with you. Yes, you could be 24, 28 years old here. The 424 represents the number six. I told you, look at this, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. This is an ex-lover, ex-wife, ex-husband, false flame. God has permanently revoked this person, and they are rebuked in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, and they are finished, okay? They can't hurt you no more. They won't hurt you no more. It would be foolish for them to even attempt to hurt you at this point, okay? They are kicked out of your energy. They have no access to you, and... That is what it is, period. This could have been a psycho-ass woman that had a connection to a divine masculine. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're a caregiver. Divine masculine, he's a caregiver. You guys are in separation. He could be keeping you safe. I pick up on that energy. You both could be single today. Divine feminine, you could be a tarot reader. Divine masculine, he could be a tarot reader. He could have a favorite tarot reader. Okay? Leo energy here. Virgo energy. A favorite uh, tarot reader of divine masculines predicted this. I'm hearing years ago. It's something about his eyes. The main male. Mm-hmm. Period. Judge and North Node. He's made, Divine Masculine has made a decision for himself. Okay, for himself. To want better. Okay, we all have to make that decision. Okay, nobody can force us. With the North Node journey indicating uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Period. He has the Ace of Pentacles. He has a spiritual inheritance. He's living fluently. Um... Out of his ability, his gifts and calling, okay, his purpose. He has questions about it. He's actively um, living out his mission. He's on the journey. He's in his north node. He's in his life mission, his life purpose, which would include an ace of pentacles. The ace of pentacles would include a divine feminine um, and, you know, other amazing opportunities that our Heavenly Father has for his chosen people. Okay, it's nothing no one's gonna, it's nothing no one can do, it's nothing no one can do about it, it's nothing no one can do about it, it is, it is so, if you guys want to book me, I'm available, have a great night.